Hello, Syncap Land. My name is Michael Gralia, and today is November 18th, Saturday. This is episode 124 of Syncap 10, your 10-minute weekly briefing on everything you've done about Syncap 1. I'm going to talk about three things today, mainly. Giving Tuesday, the conference, Faster Cures, and then it's Happy Thanksgiving. We're all on vacation. And then we'll see each other in Orlando. I might do another episode before then, but who knows? Probably not. There's a lot going on. Giving Tuesday. Before the conference, the conference is on Thursday, but two days before that is Giving Tuesday, November 28th. The link is syngap.fund slash GT23. Unless you happen to be doing a family fundraiser, I see you, Harper, go ahead and donate to and use syngap.fund slash GT23 with all your friends and family and let people know that the Syngap Research Fund, Fund Science, is going to change the future of your loved one and they need to donate to syngap.fund slash GT23. The goal we have up there is $50,000. If we get to $50,000, I will actually shave for the conference. If we get to $100,000, I'll get a haircut. I'm not specifying how much of a haircut, but I'll get a haircut. Um, let's do this, folks. Let's get some money raised. We need to raise some money so we can continue to fund the incredible science that we have been funding. I am so backed up on press releases right now. It's not funny. And honestly, they're probably not going to come out till January because there's just so much going on. But we have a lot of good science going on and I look forward to sharing it with you. Okay. The Syngap Conference. There's one link in the show notes. It's very long. If you go to our webpage, uh, under... What is it under? Anyway, just go to the show notes. And if you, but if you go to our webpage, let me look this up real quick. Under professionals conferences and 2024 is already there. You can already register, pre-register for 2024, but website professionals conferences, 2023, you go to this page, links in the show notes, and you've got the agenda for the science day. Very soon you're going to be the agenda for the family day. You've got the ELI five for the science day. ELI five is explaining to me like I'm five. So we had uh, some of our very, very sharp parents went through and wrote a quick summary of everything you're going to see in the science day, like your five. Really, 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 really exceptional work there and a great thing to review before you get there. Read the ELI five links in the show notes. No, it's not. Links on the Syngap One conference page. Make sure you check that out. It's going to be great. There's also links to the Thursday night tacos and beer and the Friday night dinner. Make sure you buy the tickets. Those are selling fast. There's also a link for registration hotels, but if you don't have those yet, you're already in trouble. The Family Day agenda is not yet posted, but hopefully by the time this goes live, it will be. And I just want to say, one of the reasons it's not posted is we've continued to iterate on it because we're packing, we're packing a lot into the Science Day and we're packing a lot into the Family Day. Let me just talk about the Science Day. The morning is all hardcore science, really beautiful stuff. A lot of it we funded great work. The afternoon is all clinical, really. So we're going to have people from CHOP and Boston Children's Hospital both presenting, as well as people from um, Christy Ziegler and um, Tom Frazier from John Carroll will be presenting potential things we could use in clinical trials. Um, Katie Cunin from Cornell will be presenting some of her early findings. It's a really exciting day and every family should be in Science Day. Don't expect to understand all of it. That's just not how this works, but you got to expose yourself to it and you've got to take comfort that we are doing some cutting edge stuff. And then on Family Day, it's a combination of community building, learning about SRF and learning about why we exist and, and getting to know each other and what you can do now, studies you can be a part of, registries you can be a part of, and, and ways to think about our work. And it's a lot to balance in there, right? We, we started with an agenda that was really mainly about community building and supporting each other, and we had to expand it a little bit to make sure that we knew what we could do today, both to take care of our Syngapi, and we have a presentation on keto that's going to be really good, and I encourage everybody to think about keto a little bit but also on here's 10 studies that you can sign up for. Here are the three registries that we are working in partnership with. Here's why you have to do citizen retrospective, what's been done, Rarex prospective, filling in um, things, Simon's major partner for the fund. So really important to, to get that content in there too so that we can, um, as a community, support each other and move towards better therapies for our kids. That's the point. That's why SRF exists. We need to be relentlessly pushing towards better therapies for our loved ones. That's the whole point. Because remember, right now we have about 500 patients in the US, maybe 1,500 worldwide diagnosed that we know about, right? And of course, there's people who are diagnosed that we don't know about. So that number's already low. But then what about the tens 
if not hundreds of thousands of kids out there who don't have Syngap 1, who do have Syngap 1, but aren't diagnosed. Are we doing everything in our power to support them? Are we working towards both novel gene therapies and repurposed drugs so that when that kid in pick a country who doesn't have access to the genetic therapy at least could get, if there's a repurposed drug out there that could help kids with Syngap, we have got to find it. We've got to find it to help our kids and help all the Syngapians out there, right? That's the mission. And that's a little bit what we'll talk about on family day is both supporting each other, but being relentless in our pursuit of the journey. And how do we do that? Well, we raise money, Giving Tuesday, 23, syngap.fund slash GT23, and we participate in studies and trials. It is the fact that our community shows up every time to participate in studies and trials that is why we are so successful and why we will continue to be successful. I want to um, finish up by apologizing for not presenting last week, but I got to tell you, uh, last week I had two conferences I went to. I went to um, the Milken Faster Cures Conference, really amazing conference. Milken is a massive foundation that has a health group that has a rare disease group called Faster Cures, and we are a part of that group, and it's a huge honor to be a part of that group. And, and one of the cool things that happened last week was Michael Milken was there and he presented his book, Faster Cures, links in the show notes. And that book is really worth reading because what, it, what happens there is Michael Milken talks about how he got prostate cancer and how he sort of lit up and pushed forward for the growth of the NIH and how he invested in science and, and invested in the Prostate Cancer Foundation. And it, it's just amazing to think about what one man did. Well, Mike, that Milken Milken, he had a lot of money. Yeah, he had a lot of money. But when citizens raise their hands and their voices and push, amazing things can happen. And that is the point, right? SRF, as advocates, this is what we do. We push, push, push. And so I left this fancy conference in DC, flew back to California, and then I, the next day I had to present at the Ultragenics Boot Camp, which is a boot camp that you've heard me talk about before. I have the great privilege of going now as a speaker. I used to be an attendee. And I love it because what it's, it's Ultragenics, which is a drug company working with the, some great partners, and it invites in rare disease leaders and gives them everything they need to know to, to become better advocates and or better little biotechs. And they had me speaking about fundraising, which I thought was funny because I'm like, guys, I'm really struggling with fundraising right now. We are not raising enough money. And they're like, Mike, you're doing better than most people. I was like, okay, that's, that's scary. But we, so guys, we have to keep fundraising. And I was talking to this group about kind of the journey we're on and how much we've done. And basically, we have a lot of press releases we, we're backed up on, but with this most recent round of grants, once these are papered, we will have committed over five, one, two, three, four, five, five million dollars to research and science. That is an incredible number. We have committed over five million dollars to science in five years, right? We basically, we basically started 2019, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, five years, five million bucks. Woohoo! But we got to keep that going. And the way we keep that going is every family, whether they can raise huge amounts of money or small amounts of money, if every family were to donate to singapp.fund slash GT23 and share that link on their socials with their family, with their church groups, whatever, and say, look, this is science that's meaningfully going to change the future of this Singapian and hundreds, nay, thousands just like them. That's how we continue to change the game. So it was, that was where I was last week. And I mean, I was when I travel, I just lose track of everything, get nothing done. Um, so before I say happy Thanksgiving, I want to give three shout outs. Shout out one, Jess Johnson, who's one of our moms in, work your brain, Mike, in Maryland, went to the Epilepsy Action Network. If you listened to episode, the last episode, I talked about the Epilepsy Action Network. And Jess um, went to that meeting and there was an article that came out about, about, the Epilepsy Action Network and Jess was quoted in there and Syngap was quoted in there. That's a win. Every time we get Syngap 1 in the press and it links back to SRF, that's a win for us guys. So great job, Jess. Great job, EAN. I, mean, I hope that Jess and EAN continue to work together. I want to give a shout out to USC. There's a press release in here um, from USC about a paper that came out from work SRF funded. SRF is noted as the funder in that paper. Um, really impressive science. It's kind of heady, but read the summary and... Um, you should be proud of the work that you funded. So thank you to our donors. Thank you to our families. And we are continuing to work with the USC. You'll hear about that in the meeting. And then I also want to remi remind you to listen to Syngap 10, episode 122. That Fraser study, the net study from Tom Fraser, who will be presenting at our science meeting, is still enrolling. And if you haven't signed up, it's very easy. You do it at home. Every three months, your kid has to look at a screen and that's it. 20 minutes, your kid has to look at a screen. And, and you'll 
as always, you have to answer some questionnaires. But the net study by Tom Frazier is a huge opportunity to validate something for clinical trials. That's how we ensure that Syngap-1 gets a therapy as fast as possible. We develop and validate these scales. So three things. Good job, Jess. Good job, USC. And you sign up for the net trial right now. Links in the show notes. Happy Thanksgiving. I will see you at the meeting. Um, the link for the meeting is, is in the show notes. Go to that page on our website. You'll find the science day agenda, the family day agenda, all the things really excited about the next two weeks because next week I'm off, I'm not gonna do anything. And week after that, I'm gonna be with everybody in Orlando and we're gonna do Giving Tuesday and then we're gonna have the science conference and the family conference. It's going to be amazing. Thank you to everybody, by the way, who has worked on this. I forgot two things. I knew I was forgetting. I was like, ah, it's too easy, Mike. Um, I gotta make mention of two things. If you have questions about the um, Science Day Conference, do not email me. I have not done most of the work here. Ashley Fry, Callie Worth, Corey Bazin, Ed Gabler. I'll put their, their emails in the show notes. Email them. Also, families for Science Day. There are a number of things that are going to be going on. Number one, you got to give blood. Okay, so I should have started with this. Well, it's too late. If I, if I spend more time in this office, my wife's going to kill me. Um, you got to give blood. If your Syngapian has not yet given blood to the combined brain effort, you've got to do it. Please do it. You can do it at the SLC 6A1 meeting on Thursday. You can do it at the Syngap 1 meeting on Friday. I suggest doing it on Thursday because Science Day will give you a headache. And if you get it out of the way on Thursday, you can come on, on Friday to our meeting. So give blood, number one. Number two, CHOP will have genetic counselors there. You can sign on, e sign up with them. Email Ed and Corey and Ashley and, and Callie to figure out how that's working. I'm not sure. But you can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session with a CHOP genetic counselor. That's a huge luxury. Those people are world-class. Um, Helen Wilsey will speak at our science meeting and she'll tell you some cool stuff. But basically, she has a breathing machine or a breath tester there, which we need your kids to breathe into for like 30 seconds. Sounds easy. Takes about five minutes. And that will give Helen some cool data. So we're bringing the studies to you at this conference, right? We're bringing the blood draw to you, combined brain. We're bringing Helen Wilsey to you. Awesome. We're bringing Beacon to you. Beacon is a, a company that has a, um, a worn EEG monitor and they want you to show it to you and ask you if you want to take it home and try it for a few nights so they can figure out um, how well it would work on Syngapians. That's a huge opportunity. Sign up. CEO of Rarebase will be there. Citizen will be there. Simon will be there. All the people will be there. But there will be, my point is there will be signs happening in the lobby on Friday, Friday that you can take part in. Giving blood, doing a breath test for, for Dr. Wilsey, meeting Beacon, etc. And then also, if you have questions, please email Ashley Fry, Callie Worth, Corey Bazin, Ed Gabler, who really are the sort of the, the core team that have been driving this forward. Thank you very much. And now that's everything I was actually supposed to say. And I will see you guys in Orlando. Giving Tuesday. Before that, singap.fun slash GT23.